But Henry puffed too quickly. Go gently, called his driver. You can bump freight, but you can't bump passengers. Sorry, puffed Henry. Henry puffed proudly through the countryside. Pulling passengers is a grand job, he said. Gordon was in the repair yard. He was being fitted with a new boiler. But Gordon felt lonely. He was missing his passengers. The passengers were missing Gordon too. They were having the bounciest, bumpiest ride they had ever had. When Henry got back to the sheds, the fat controller was waiting for him. There have been complaints, he said sternly. Passengers are not like logs. You must be gentle. Yes, sir, said Henry sadly. Being gentle was very difficult. Then Henry saw Gordon. He was looking miserable. My wish has made Gordon go to the repair yard, gasped Henry. This made Henry feel very bad. The next day, Henry had to collect the buffet car. He tried his best to be gentle. But he shunted the buffet car so hard, everything flew into the air. There were more complaints than ever. Henry didn't want to pull passengers anymore. He wanted to wish everything back to normal. When he arrived at the forest, Henry couldn't remember which tree was the wishing tree. Oh, no, cried Henry. Which one could it be? Henry didn't know. So he decided to wish on all the trees. I wish I could pull phrase again, he puffed. Then he moved to the next tree and he wished again. I wish I could pull freight again. The Fat Controller arrived on board Thomas. What are you doing, Henry? asked the Fat Controller. You are causing confusion and delay. Henry told him all about the wishing tree. Wishing trees don't run railways, said the Fat Controller. That's my job. Gordon just needed some repairs. He'll be back tomorrow. Henry was delighted. The next day, Gordon came back to work. He looked as good as new. The passengers were so pleased to see him, they cheered and cheered and cheered. Gordon beamed happily for the rest of the day. Henry was happy to be back in the peace and quiet of the forest. At the end of the day, he stopped near the wishing tree. And even though the Fat Controller had told him trees don't run railways, Henry wished he would never have to pull passengers ever, ever again, just in case.